we learned some expressions like good for you, you for team, congratulations, and things like that. So we were using again the simple past. While the girls arrive, we're going to watch a little story. Let me see, I guess it's here. Okay, here we have a story, uh, Luis. Mm -hmm. In this story, well, we're going to practice the simple past. We're going to practice the simple past uh, of the irregular verbs. So I want you to watch at this story. And at the end, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay, Luis? Okay. Okay, so let's start. Do you remember the story, Luis? Um, so, so. So, <laughs> okay, well, the name of this lady is Sophie, okay? Do you remember what happened to Sophie? Uh, she stayed in the airport. Uh, she was in the airport. Why? Um, because um, uh, a storm? Huh? Ah, there was a storm. Okay, uh, where did Sophie spend her birthday? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You have the question, where did Sophie spend her birthday? Um, in the airport. Airport. One more time, why? 
in the airport. <clears throat> Why? Do you remember what did she do? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. um, she did. Um, she mentioned some activities. Played Do you remember cards. the activity? The what? Played cards. Ah, she played cards and? Uh, she met uh, new people or interesting people. Yes, she met some people. Okay. And also she... She eat. She what? Eat. Eat? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, what is the past of it? At? Eight. She ate what? <laughs> she mentioned that on her birthday, a person that she met gave her something. Do you remember what? No. Chocolate bar. Okay. okay. <coughs> uh, let me check. Oh, it's six. It's almost six twenty. So I don't know what's going on with. Perla and Daniela. Okay, well, let's continue here. Okay, we're going to practice with this twist. I was waiting for the girls, but I think they are not coming today. Can you see this part, please? Yes. Okay, give me a second. We're gonna do the same exercise that we did last time. Okay. okay, Luis, are you able to see the bar here below? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so you're going to be able to type, okay, the answers. Okay. So it says, uh, write the sentences below in the past. Simple. Uh, we have here some questions and some statements, affirmative, negative. They are in simple present. What you're going to do, you are going to rewrite them, but in the simple past. For example, number one, he goes to bed early, present. Past, he went to bed early. Number two, we don't like onions. Simple present. Simple past, we didn't like onions. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to change these questions into the simple past. Okay, Luis? Okay. So let me see. Give me a second. I'm going to fix this. this one. Six months. Okay, so let's begin, please, for number three. It says Stuart lives in Vancouver. Mm. So you can type.
Correct. Number four, will she exercise? Correct, is she exercise? We hear it cooking. Perfect. Play video games, correct? the answer correct I forgot his name perfect Still the history, correct? Did they try? Yes. Yes. Did you swim? Correct. What did you leave? Yes. Did you drink tea? Yes. Let's eat breakfast, yes.
Excellent, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, please. Da, 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 da. Why this thing? Okay, Luis, well, let's repeat after me, okay? We're going to practice with a simple pass. Okay. So let's start number three. Um, Stuart lived in Vancouver. Stuart lived in Vancouver. Did she exercise? Did she exercise? I hated cooking. I hated cooking. They played video games. They played video games. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. They didn't study history. They didn't study history. Did they, are, did they drive? Did they drive? Jenny worked at a hotel. Jenny worked at a hotel. Did you swim? Did you swim? We didn't like the movie. We didn't like the movie. Where did you live? Where did you live? They didn't drink tea. They didn't drink tea. They started class at 8 o'clock. They started class at 8 o'clock. Did he eat breakfast? Did he eat breakfast? I didn't run fast. I didn't run fast. He had a car. He had a car. Did you enjoy sports? Did you enjoy sports? Perfect. Uh, do you have questions about the simple past? No. Perfect. Well, let's now let's continue with the book. Uh, let me look for the student book. One more time, give me a second. Uh, did we do this exercise last Thursday? Luis, I don't remember the free talk. Um, Is that no. the end? Okay, we're going to do this part. Um, let's see, go to the, almost to the end of the book, the last pages, uh, this is the page G. Here it says, free talk number 10. Okay. Yes, can you see? Yes. Okay. But here it says, um, imagine that this is how your apartment looks this morning, what did you do yesterday? Study the picture for one minute and try to remember. So, I want to do this. I'm going to trust you, Luis. <laughs> Pay attention. Um, you're going to look at this picture for, here it says, one minute. Try to remember everything that you see in the picture. 
after the minutes, you are going to close your book, okay? Close your book. And in your notebook or on a piece of paper, you're going to start writing sentences about the things that you remember of this picture. For example, uh, here we have a TV and we have some videos. You can say, yesterday I watched some videos, okay? It's just like, it's an example. Or like here we have a cake, yesterday I ate some cake, yes? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give you just one minute to study the picture and when we finish, I'm gonna say you, I'm gonna tell you stop and you're gonna close your book, okay, Luis? Okay, teacher. So here we go. You have one minute, Luis, so go ahead. I just give me a second, hi, Maru. Are you gonna talk to Luis, Maru? Give me a second, Luis. Okay, teacher. No, I can hear you, Maru. I can hear no. I can hear you, Maru. Where are you? Sorry, how about that? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, I had the mic. Do you, you want to talk to Luis? Yes, please. I would like to talk to Luis. Say hello and invite hey. to something fun. Luis, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Okay. Luis, uh, well, you know we're going to be here one more month on online classes. Uh, we would like to have something fun for the students this month. And we have a planned a competition. How about that? Do you like competitions? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> That's good. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, teacher, can I share the, the screen, please? Let me see if I can do it because... I'm not. Ah, teacher, do you think you can share the screen with me? Okay. Yes, give me a second, Maru. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna close all the stuff I have here because it's it's a lot that I have. Ready, Maru. What? It's done. Is it? Okay. Yes. Let me just, it's too much stuff I have open here. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if you can see my, my screen. Well, let me close this too. Okay. Can you see my screen? The Jeopardy contest, final round? No. No? No. And I don't know how to do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it here. And here. Okay. How about now? Is it visible? Uh, yeah. Yes, I yes. Wish we have the schedule. <laughs> what schedule? It says teacher Wendy, teacher Wendy. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, Luis, well, uh, this game uh, is going to be with levels. You're going to participate with your classmates. Now, if your classmates are not there, that means that you are the winner. And you're okay. going to participate with different students from other classes. How about that? I'm going to explain to you how this works. Yes? Yes. Okay. okay, this is for the intermediate and advanced level. And this is how it works. I don't know if you know about the, the Jeopardy game. Jeopardy used to be a very popular game on TV. It was a TV show. And it is about different questions with different points. Yes? Let's say, for example, that it's your turn and you select one, one category. You can say history of the world. Well, there are gonna be many, many other different categories, okay? 
So we have history of the word in this example, the most of the word, verbs in participle, describing people, what's wrong with it, with these wishes, etc. This, as you can see, is more advanced level. Yeah, this is not your level. But let's say that it's your turn and you select whatever category you want. Mm -hmm. And you're going to decide how many points you want to win. Yes? And then let's say that you, you say, okay, verbs in participle. And you say, okay, verbs in participle for 100 points or 500 points. Or if you're not very sure, you, you say 300. Or it depends. You select, okay, you decide the category and you decide the points you want to win. Yes? Yes. Then, whatever you decide, there's going to be a question. Okay, if you answer the question correctly, you get the points. Yes? Okay. And whoever gets the most of the points is the winner. Mm -hmm. Great. That is the winner. And uh, let me add this. And this is the invitation right here. It's coming, it's coming. Okay, here, here I have the invitation for you. Okay, this is the Jeopardy Contest online edition. I believe teacher Nancy is going to share this with you on WhatsApp, the invitation. Yes, teacher, please. Yes, and here we have the objective. Mm -hmm. Then we have the how the, the game is going to be. Yes, the instructions. Mm -hmm. the, the teacher is going to show you some, some questions, etc. Yes. Now, if you have classmates, you're going to compete with your classmates. And the winner will compete with other, other classes, with the winners from other classes. Yes, this is going to be this week. You don't have to study anything special or nothing. It's only about your level. Yes, this is up to unit 10. What you have seen in, in your class, uh, those are going to be the topics. Okay? Then there's going to be a grand finale. Okay, And that's going to be on May 11, next Monday. Yes, Luis? How yes. about that? We're going to do it? Yes? Yes. Now... What can you win? The big prize is going to be a scholarship for two months. Yes, for two months. So it means that you're not going to pay uh, the English access for two months. It could be May and June, or it could be June and July, whatever you prefer. Okay? That's the big prize for the big winners. What do you think, Luis? Uh, I think it's nice. <laughs> yes? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any questions about this? Uh, no questions. No questions? Great. Now, uh, your teacher is going to ask you both. Uh, I guess she's going to decide when. I guess on Thursday, teacher, probably. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, she's going to uh, play the game with you if, if you don't have any classmates. As I told you, you're going to participate with other classes and you just need to be ready for, for the grand finale. Okay? There will be okay. four winners uh, because there are four different levels for participating. Okay, Luis? Okay. Yes. Well, any questions? No. No? Okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much, teacher. Thank You're you, welcome. Luis. Thank you very much. And we'll be in touch. Okay? Yes, Maro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you guys. And I'll see you around. Yes. Let me see how I get out from here. Do you write me, teacher? Yeah. I don't want to share this anymore. Do you let delete me? Let me see. <laughs> yes? Or I just close this. He says that I can. Because you're you can't. You need to close. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, um, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Yes. Mm. I don't know where teacher. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, teacher.
Bye. 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 You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, so mm -hmm. Luis, we're, we're here. So one more time. So let's go back to this part. Uh, remember, I'm gonna give you one minute. Okay, Luis, are you ready? Okay. One minute just to study the picture. Okay, so let's start right now. Okay. Study the picture. Okay, now stop. Uh, remember, I'm gonna trust you, Luis. Close your book, okay? Okay. And on a piece of paper, write down as many sentences as you remember. I'm gonna give you two minutes, okay, Luis? Okay, teacher. So go ahead, you have two minutes. 642. You have one minute. Okay, stop, Luis. Are you ready? And yes. Okay, can you read your sentences, please? What do you remember? Okay. I read a magazine and books. Uh -huh. I bought some clothes. Yes. I watched TV. Uh -huh. I drank a couple of sodas. I made a cake. Yes. And I play tennis. Honey? 
Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, so here uh, we have the picture again. Uh, what other information can you add, Luis? Um, I read letters or I wrote letters. You wrote, yes, yes some letters. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. I watch videos. Yes. Uh, look at this part, for example. What can you say about this? Wash dishes. I wash or hidden? I hidden. Uh huh. I didn't wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Or I didn't do the dishes. Well, uh, there is another part that says free talk. Then B is on the next page, Luis. Okay. Uh, this time we are not going to study the picture. No. Uh, what we're gonna do here, uh, let's see. Let's look at the picture. And remember, imagine that this is your room. And uh, this is what happened yesterday. Now tell me, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? I read the newspaper. Uh -huh. I play guitar. Played guitar. Played. Uh, I bought some new boots, boots. Yeah, boots. Uh -huh. I play chess. Yes. I uh, did the laundry. Uh -huh. I made coffee. Yes. I bought pizza. Uh -huh. I read the book. Yes, you read a book. I listened to music. Uh -huh. You need one. There is a bathing suit on the floor. <laughs> what is activity? I went to the beach. I went to the beach or I went swimming also. Okay. Okay, thank you, Luis. Now let's continue. We had to start the lesson B. Okay, let's continue with page 104. This is the lesson B. Are you on this page, please? Uh, 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 um. Page yes. 104, lesson B. It says a uh, journal. Okay, first of all, Luis, do you know what a journal is? Mm. So, so. This word, a journal, do you know what is it? Uh, yes. Okay, what is it? Uh, uh, you can give me an example. Um, time. A what? Time. Time. Or the day, the week, every day. Uh, do you mean like an agenda? Uh-huh. Well, it could be like an agenda, yes, or like a diary. You know, some people like to write or they like to keep a diary. Uh, okay, 
For example, you can write about the things that you do every day, about your experiences, situations, things that happen to you in your everyday life. So this is like a journal, okay? So some people, they like to keep a journal about the things that they do every day. In exercise 1A, we have some questions. Do you or your friends keep a journal? So what is your answer for this, Luis? Um, for me, no. No? Uh, no. Any of your friends? No. No? No. Okay. Well, we have an idea about what a journal is. So question number two. What topics do people write about in journals? Here we have some ideas. Uh, we can write about problems, about family, about school. Do you have any other ideas? What topics can mm. we write about in journals? <laughs> Luis, any other ideas? About the events. About events. Mm -hmm. okay. And the friends. About friends, yes. Uh, daily life. Okay. Your daily routine, your daily life, correct. Well, here, as you can see, uh, we have a journal. This is Ashley's journal. And we have some activities that they did last week from Monday through Saturday. Here it says, read Ashley's journal entries for last week. What topics did she write about? So we're going to find out. Well, you're the only one here. So let's see, Luis. Let's start the reading, please. Go okay. ahead. Monday. I started my new job at the design company. I like it a lot. I met Brand after work. He wants to go out for dinner on Wednesday, but I already made dinner plans with some people from, from work and I really want to go. Anyway, Brand never pays. Tuesday, Brad called me three times at work. I turned off my cell phone in the end. I met Rachel, met Rachel for lunch. She works in another department. She's funny. We love, love it a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thursday, I had a, a really busy day. I went to a big meeting and it went on all day. I come home late. I called Brad before I went to bed, but he didn't ask for it. I'm sure he's mad at me. Friday. I had a great a great day. day. We fin finished work early today. My new boss is nice. Then I met Brad for dinner. In the evening, we argued, argued? argued. argued about Wednesday the night. I went out with my friends for work. I don't think I want a boyfriend right now. Saturday. Actually, I'm grading, I'm grading this on Sunday morning. I felt too tired, tired when I come home last night. I went to a party and I met some really fun people. A good colleague, Jose, wanted, wanted my phone number. I hope he's he calls. I hope he calls. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we have some words. Okay, 
it's done. Okay, we also have argued Okay, Luis. Before we continue, uh, let's practice the pronunciation of these words, okay? Okay. So, let's start. Design. Design. One more time. Design. Design. Called. Called. Turned. Turned. Left. Left. Answer. Answer. Finished. Finished. Argued. Argued. Came. Came. Guy. Guy. Let's do it one more time, okay? Design. Design. Called. Called. Turned. Turned. Left. Left. Answer. Answer. Finished. Finished. Argued. Argued. Came. Came. Guy. Guy. Excellent, Luis. Okay. Uh, Remember that before doing the reading, we were talking about topics that you can write in a journal, okay? Do you remember the topics that you told me? Uh -huh. For example, uh, you read this information about Ashley. Uh, for example, did she write about problems? Mm. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, did she write about family? No. No. About school? No. About uh, everyday life? Yes. Yes, about events? Yes. About friends? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now tell me, uh, I want you to summarize this, this week, Ashley's week. Uh, tell me what happened during the week. What happened last week to Ashley? What do you remember? Uh, she started a new job on uh -huh. Monday. Yes. Um, She, she she met uh, new friends. Yes, she met new friends. And what else? She met a guy. Uh, uh -huh, she met a guy. Do you remember the name of this guy? The first Brad. She met Brad? Uh-huh. Is he the new guy? No. No. There is another one. Uh, Jose. Jose. Excellent. <clears throat> he met Jose. Okay, pay attention to this exercise, Luis. Um, as you can see at the end of the journal, for example, here uh, you have a space in blank. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have this space in blank. Can you see this part? Yes. Okay, you have this space in blank. So what you're going to do, Luis, uh, you are going to imagine that you are Ashley. Okay, imagine that you are Ashley. And here she's saying, I'm writing this on Sunday morning. And she's saying that she met some really fun people and a guy called Jose, wanted my phone number, I hope he calls. Here, you're going to write down Sunday, okay? That is gonna be your title here, Sunday. 
okay, <laughs> you are going to continue with the journal. I want you to, okay, one more time, imagine that you're Ashley and tell me what happened on Monday. Did Jose call? Did she go out with him? Did she come back with Brad? I don't know. Try to finish the story. Okay, Luis? Okay. I'm gonna give you how much time do you want? Two minutes? Is yes. Okay? Yes, okay, so you have two minutes. So go ahead. It's Sunday, remember. Are you ready, Luis? Uh, no. no. Okay, okay, go ahead. Finish. Finish. Yes. Okay, so let's see. What do you have, Luis? Um, okay. Sunday. Today is my rest day and I go got up late. Um, after breakfast, Jose call call me. Call it me. Call me. Call me. And he invited me to went out on Tuesday after work. You say he invited me to? To went out, went out. To go out. Okay. He invited me to go out. That's okay. it. 
And that's it? Yes. Okay, thank you, Luis. Okay, let's, okay, Luis, now let's continue with the exercise C. It says, read the journal entries again. Do you agree with these statements about Ashley? Why or why not? And then you're going to compare. So you can read again the journal and here you're going to check just agree or disagree. For example, number one, Ashley enjoyed her first day at her new job. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, agree. Yes, so you're going to check, agree. So continue with the rest, please, Luis, from number two to number six. Okay. Ready. Ready. Okay, so let's see. Number two, she wanted to go out with Brad on Wednesday. Agree. Uh, Are you sure? No, no disagree. <laughs> disagree. Remember that she had plans. <laughs> Number three, she's not happy with Brad. Uh, disagree. Disagree. So she is happy with him. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying? That she is happy with Brad? Uh, uh, no. Pay attention to the information. She's not happy with Brad. Is this correct or not? No. Is not correct? Uh -huh. So the opposite means that she's happy. So do you think that she's happy with Brad? Mm -hmm. Yes. She's happy with Brad? Uh, Pay attention here. Monday, uh, she says, anyway, Brad never pays. Uh, and then on uh, Friday, she says, we argue about Wednesday night. Wednesday the night I went out with my friend. So she's not happy with Brad. <clears throat> Agree or disagree? Disagree. Okay, if you say disagree, you're saying that she's yes. happy, that she likes to be with Brad. Disagree. So that's agree. <laughs> I agree. So that means that this, this information is correct. She is not happy with Brad. That's agree. Okay. Okay. Number four, she didn't have fun at the party. Uh, disagree. Disagree. Yes, because she was very happy. Hi, she doesn't want a boyfriend right now. Uh, agree. Yes, and she says that. Six, she had a busy week. Agree. Uh, yes, correct, Chris. Okay, now let's continue with the exercise two. So let's continue with the next page. It says, write a journal for two days last week. What did you do? Write a short paragraph about each day. Uh, here we have a help note. 
So we can use these words like before, after, when, then. So you can use these words in order to create your paragraph. We have some examples. I met a friend after class or I met a friend before class. I called a friend before I went out or before I went out, I called a friend. So here we can use, well, these words at the beginning, at the end, or maybe in the middle of the sentence, okay? okay. I went to bed when I came home. When I came home, I went to bed. The same, we can use when to connect two ideas, or we can use when at the beginning of the sentence. I left work. Then I met a friend. With then, you are saying that first you finished an activity, and continue with the second one. And then it's just like a connector. Okay? So, okay. do you have any question about these words, Luis, before, after? No. Okay. So, what you're going to do, Luis, uh, I want you to think about two days, last week. You can think about maybe your weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And you're going to write down a short paragraph about the activities that you did on Saturday and on Sunday. Okay, Luis? Okay. Try to write a brief paragraph like the ones that we have here. It says, Monday, I met Kanako after work. Then I had to go to my dance class. I bought some food before I went home. I ate dinner very late. So in three lines, this person is describing his Monday. That's what you're going to do. You can think about Saturday and Sunday and write down a brief paragraph about the activities that you did on weekend, okay? Okay. I'm gonna give you two minutes or three minutes, Luis. Uh, three. Three minutes, okay, go ahead, seven and 12. Okay, let's do it, please, three minutes. You have one minute. Okay.
Okay, ready, Luis? And yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Go ahead, Luis. On Saturday, I got up early, then I made the breakfast, I went to play soccer, and I played ten. I played video games. Excellent. On Sunday, I got up air up late. Uh -huh. I did the laundry after breakfast, and I did my homework. Okay, you're really good, Luis. Okay, questions, Luis. Uh, no. No. Okay. No. Okay, we have yes, we have time, plenty of time. Okay, correct. Well, let's move to the exercise three, set listening and speaking. Uh, first, we have here some questions before doing the listening. Uh, question one, how do you remember the things that you have to do? So what do you do, Luis? How do you remember things that you have to do? Mm -hmm. I watch TV. Watch TV to remember things. Oh. Pay attention to the question. How do you remember the things that you have to do? What do you do? Mm. For example, well, in my case, I don't have a good memory. That's the reason oh. why I like to use my agenda, the one that I have on my cell phone. So I, uh, I have like a schedule of the activities that I have to do during the week. Or sometimes if I'm in a hurry, sometimes I like to write the things that I have to do here on the palm of my hand. <laughs> because as I said before, I don't have good memory. I forget get things easily. So how about you, Luis? How do you remember the things that you have to do? Uh, I have good memory or really? sometimes <laughs> I write on my phone. Ah, so you use your agenda too? Yes. On your phone, excellent, correct. Or notes. And to what? Notes. Or notes? Do you mean like post-its? Uh, no, notes in my cell phone. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Okay, here we have four questions, Luis. Okay, question number one. Do you write lists? Mm -hmm. What is your answer? Uh, may <laughs> maybe. Yes? Uh, for example, when I go to bulk, I go to buy. Mm -mm. Uh, do you mean when you go to the supermarket? Yes. Or when you go to the market? When yep. I go to the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. Okay. Question number two. Do you have a daily or a weekly planner? No. No? No. So you don't like to plan your activities ahead of time? Mm. No? Um, only sometimes. Sometimes. Well, in my case, uh, case, as you can see, well, here's what I do. I have a lot of activities to do. That's why I need to keep a daily and a weekly planner. Okay, number three, do you write notes? Yes, in my cell phone. Your notebook, excellent. Yes. And number four, do you just try to remember everything? Like, do you have a good memory? Yes. Oh, I look at you, Luis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now, um, we're gonna continue with the listening. It says, listen, how do these people remember things? Match the people 
in what they do. So you are going to listen to Angela, Kevin, Sanji, and Rafael. Uh, the options are puts notes on the refrigerator, tries to remember things without a list, writes a list every week, and has a daily plan. So I'm gonna play the audio. Uh, remember the audios are kind of low, so try to put on your earphones, okay, please? Okay. So listen carefully and remember match the person with the activity, okay? Okay. Let me look for the audio. Do you want to listen again, Luis? Yes. Yes, okay. Look for the audio.
Are you ready? Yes. Um, yes. Okay, let's see number <laughs> one. Okay, number one, Angela, what do you have? C. C, correct, raise a list every week. Number two, Kevin? Uh, D. Number, number two again? D. No. Number two is A. Ooh. Yes, letter A. Number three? Uh, B. Yes, it's D. And number four? D. D, correct. <clears throat> Excellent, Luis. Any questions so far? Uh, no. No questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luis, well, uh, with this activity, we're finishing with the lesson D. Mm -hmm. In lesson D, as you can see, well, we had a reading, okay? In this reading, we practice one more time with the simple past. And also, we did some writing activities, okay? You have to wrote the last part of this of this journal you wrote about what you did last week and we finished with a listening activity so tomorrow we are going to start with the unit 11 in unit 11 we're going to continue using simple pass okay okay so your homework for tomorrow is well it's going to be the workbook the lesson d Okay. Workbook, the lesson D. Remember, is the lesson D is the unit ten. Workbook lesson D, unit ten. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Questions, Luis, before you leave? No. No. Excellent. Okay, Luis. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, well. Perla and Daniela, they are out of Acapulco. They sent me a message. So maybe tomorrow or on Wednesday, they are gonna be here with you. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Oh, let me see. Give me a second. Luis is coming. So see you tomorrow. Luis, have a nice evening and thank you for being here. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank so you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice see evening. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye. You are late, Luis. Jose Luis, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, I was I I was well. I was trying to to check the attendance of the students today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit late, but uh, I <laughs> you had Luis Angel Asensio only? Yes, only Luis Angel. <laughs>